Welcome to uh, our foam rolling workshop. Today we are going to be working on our lower back and uh, right in the glutes kind of piriformis muscle today, two really popular areas um, that people have issues with. Um, so uh, just as a note, really quick, if you feel any type of tingling sensation, any nerve um, tingling sensation, please get off your roller, all right? Um, you could be on a nerve and we don't want that for sure. So please make sure that you listen to your body on this, okay? You're supposed to feel like, um, kind of like a tension or like if you've gotten a massage, that like pressure, but you definitely shouldn't feel anything shooting down any portions or up any portions of your bodies. Just a disclaimer, it's really important for them, okay? So we're gonna actually start with our back. And let me just tell you real quick, even though it's called a foam roller, we're not rolling, rolling, rolling. It's very important that we kind of hold our position. But what we do occasionally is kind of warm up. So I'm gonna use my hands here behind me, place that roller in your lower back. And we wanna make sure that we're not rolling on our spine, okay? So I kinda wanna be able to show you guys um, so you can see, but I'm gonna do a little pelvic tilt, all right? So I can feel, if I roll down, I can feel my tailbone, but it's tilted in, so I'm not like pressing on it. I'm gonna slowly, just one time, lean over to one side, so we don't wanna roll on our spine, and we're just gonna think about just lengthening one time all the way up your back. And then roll all the way back. You can use your hands, all right? And then I'm gonna turn the other way and then just roll. And we're not rolling back and forth, we're just rolling once. What we're doing is just kind of creating space in that casing and then roll all the way. And as you did that, you probably felt like areas like, oh, that's the place I'm gonna really roll, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean back, tilt that pelvis so that you can feel that lower back in there, lean over to one side. So again, we don't wanna be on our spine, right? And we're gonna slowly hold it. And maybe you don't really feel a whole lot here. You can add more pressure by adding more body weight in there. If it's too much, you can kind of lift your booty off. You're gonna find that maybe as you get a little higher, and then hold it. So I'm kind of on what I call the shelf, that section where it's like your booty, but then also kind of your lower back. That area is very tender. We're gonna come back to that area which is close to your piriformis. We're gonna come to back to that later. Slowly release it. And we got right into this. So some of you are warm um, from the class previous. Some of you are just joining me now and that is okay. Um, what we're doing is really getting into deep tissue. So we wanna kind of loosen everything up. And we're just very slowly, notice I'm not rolling back and forth, just very slowly. There's an ant coming at me that's carrying another ant. So now when you get to that rib cage, you might notice that you, it kind of digs in there. So if you need to lift up a little bit, you can, but notice how there's a pelvic tilt. So you got to work a little bit on this, right? Because if you rest, then there's an arch in your back and we don't want an arch in your back. Now, once you're at a place where you can rest your hips down and still get that pressure in here, just make sure you're not arching back. I'm still leaning over onto that one side. I'm working my way into my rib cage. Now we're going to slowly continue moving. Notice I'm leaning in. Open up your shoulder blade when you get to your rib cage, and then slowly continue rolling. Now, how long do you hold it in each position or each little hold? 10 seconds, 15 seconds. If you have more time, you can hold it longer. If you're just sitting there watching television or something, this is something you could do every single day, okay? And so if you just take your time, now I'm opening up the shoulder blade, I'm right where the rib cage and the shoulder blade meet. And I want to open up so I can get that roller. And if you need to, you can rest your head. Notice my hips are down. I'm leaning in. I'm opening up that shoulder blade. And I'm right underneath where that shoulder blade would have been if I dropped. Okay? And it opens up that upper back. Before we do the other side, we're going to stretch and do a um, little assessment so you can see the difference. Slowly roll. Now, how far do you go? You want to stop right at that track, that muscle right up here. The top of the shoulder blade. You don't want to go into the neck for this. And then release it. You can use your arms to push yourself or just roll over on the one side and lift. And before we do the other side, you can already feel that length on that one side, right? If you just sit here, it almost feels like the shoulder's a little higher. You're lengthening those muscles. So, but we're going to actually roll onto our back. Hold in here, hug your knees into your chest, however you need to. Hug it in, just relax. 
stretching is just as important as the lengthening. You want to really take an assessment. Yeah, the roll is. Good. Feel free to roll onto one side or just rock yourself up into a seated position. And we're going to do the other side. Can you already feel like that one side? I literally feel like this shoulder is heavier, and but my spine is already longer. It almost feels like I'm leaning like this. We're going to do the other side. Same exact thing. So we're going to roll up right here. Tilt that pelvis. So it's important that we tilt that pelvis to get into that tailbone section and then rock over to the opposite side. So now we're on the other side. Very slowly, walk yourself and hold. So you're probably still in that low back, right in that sacrum, um, below your shelf, right? Right where that baby back meets. Hold it. You're going to notice one side more tender than the other, and that's completely normal. Completely, completely normal. If you have any injuries, a lot of times you'll find, and I say this all the time, but a lot of times you'll find that the opposite side is the one that is tighter. And that's because we put more weight on that side, like our good side, right? We use it so much more that we neglect it, right? And so we compensate by using that other side. If we can take care of our good side or whatever that might be all right, there, I feel that. So now just above that back or booty, right? We've got back, back right there and lower back, slowly working my way just to the bottom of that rib cage, kind of that waistline where there's really not much um, bone right there, just the hip bone. Very, very slowly try to relax your shoulders. I know it's hard to, remember it's up to you. And then we wanna make sure we don't drop those hips if you have a back arch. So wait till you can keep your spine straight before you drop your hips. Hold it, hold it. Now, once you feel like you can drop those hips and that spine is still neutral, you can rest a little bit and still press into it without arching your back. But very important, do not arch your back. I'm still leaning over to this side. I'm working my way into the rib cage. Same thing, just stay where you're at. Just want to make sure I'm still on screen here so you guys can see. All right, so when you get towards that rib cage, that's where that shoulder blade opens up. Ah, you can have your hand behind your head if you need to. And just rest your arm wherever you need to, whatever feels good. Take your time. Oh, this is so good. Your body will love you for this. I promise you, this is amazing. I've cured many, many injuries doing roller derby. And I feel like I've prevented some injuries as well by using this roller, making sure that my muscles aren't too tight to pull um, the opposite direction. So it's really, really important. Uh, almost there. So right when you get to the trap, that's that muscle right up here. So just underneath it, or think of it as like the top of that shoulder blade, we're almost there. And if you need more time, you're welcome to push pause. This will be on um, our membership site after. So you're welcome to uh, join if you're not already a member, but it'll be on there and then you can just play it over and over and over again. Oh, uh, slowly release it. We're gonna roll up. If you're not ready, take your time. This is your experience. Shake it out. We're gonna sit for just a second, roll your shoulders. Feel the difference. Like rolling my shoulders is so easy now. Just everything feels so amazing. My back feels good. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, shake it out and just take your legs in a butterfly or leg straight, but so that your hips are even. We don't want to cross and then they're kind of uneven. So however you feel good, I want you to take a deep breath. And this is about the back. You might feel your hamstrings, but that's okay because we're going to kind of get in there in a second. So just round your back wherever you're at and feel that nice stretch, that lower back. This should feel so good. Stay here. Take your time as you come on up. Oh, you should already feel so, so good. So we have just enough time. We're going to get into our glutes here. So again, if you're just joining me now, um, or you didn't hear me first, make sure that if you feel any type of tingling, um, get off your roller. Because we're going to work in our glutes here. But our sciatic runs through the piriformis, which is a muscle up higher, kind of that shelf I was talking about. And if you're on that, 
very tender, especially if you do have issues with your sciatic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually sit on our roller here. And I'm gonna give you a stretch first and a stretch second. The stretch is really quick for the first time. So just, um, I'm gonna do my right leg right here. Just take your right leg into a figure four. Now make sure you're not leaning in, you want your hips nice and square. If you're not able to bring that leg up, you can um, bend that knee a little bit less. Okay, so slide two. Now, gently press your knee, flex this foot. Gently press your knee down, feel that stretch right. If you were to take like a, a pin or like a, a stick or something and you pushed it right into that tush right here, okay? That's where we're working, right in here, not up here, right in here. So once you kind of feel, feel how it feels as well as like be cautious of where your, that is in your body, okay? Let's release it, shake it up, give it to me. We're gonna lean over onto that side. Now, I'm gonna start, I can feel my sit bones right there. And I'm leaning into my hip here and I'm gonna pin to that little dent to the right. I can feel it right in that little hole here. Now, if you choose, take that leg, bring it back into your stretch. Now, if you can, you can get more weight into it. Lean, you can kind of experiment. Everyone's gonna be a little different depending on their hips, their size of their hips, you know, where they walk or how they walk. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Right. I'll roll it towards, ah, uh, right there. Ow. Remember, we're not rolling back and forth. Fight the urge to wanna roll, okay? Um, sometimes you just like wanna roll, so slowly roll back up. I'll find the top of that tush right before that shelf up here. Right at that curve. You can have your foot up here, or if you want, you can experiment, maybe dropping and opening that hip. So again, everybody's gonna be different. And if you'd like to finish it off, take that back hand and lean slightly over onto your side. So now I'm a little bit closer into the hip here. You can extend your leg and roll just slightly up. Oh, hold it, hold it, breathe, breathe, breathe. You're opening up the hips. Yes, loosening that lower back, creating space for those hips. Slowly release it. Now we can work so many ways. We can go all the way down with that IT band, um, but today kind of focus on one or two body parts and that's it. So. Um, I'm home alone, so if I get stung by bees, let me call 911 and find my address. <laughs> but there's a ton of bees here. Shake it out. Awesome. All right, so you can already feel that circulation right through your tush. We're going to do the other side. Remember, we stretch first. We're going to take that leg up, keep your hips square, gently press that knee down, very lightly pressing the knee. Or imagine, right, that like sticking something right into your tush here. You can feel that spot. And I'll tell you, if you're not super sure and you want me to kind of explain it to you a little bit better, I'd be happy to do like a FaceTime or something with you to show you because sometimes you're not really sure. Um, but if, you, if it feels good, you're good, okay? And it may not necessarily like feel really good because it is like pressure, right? But it's like that like good hurt um, and you can feel it working, then, then you're okay. Um, just make sure you have to let you go. Okay, here we go. So we're going to lean over onto that booty. I'm going to turn this way a little bit so you can see what we're doing on the side. I'm going to lean over right in that dent here. I'm going to find my sit bone and then just come right off of it. I'm going to start there and then work my way up. So we're coming there. And if you'd like, you can take your leg, experiment, see how you feel with that figure four. Remember, you can lean up a little bit, get a little deeper. So the more body weight you have in there, the more you're gonna feel it, right? Because it's going up. Now, if you don't have a roller too, or if you have a ball, we've done a plenty of ball workout, um, it's a little bit deeper into that muscle or that fascia. So you're welcome to always do that too. Slowly work my way up right to that shelf here. And I'll give you an idea. So this is my bad ankle. I broke it nine, almost nine months ago. This side doesn't hurt as much as this side. And that's because I'm always standing on this side to compensate for this side. 
I'm just giving you an idea of what that means by having that compensation. So you would think that this I would hurt more because this is my bad leg. But honestly, I favor this leg. Even though I try not to, I do, right? So I use this side more. So this is actually more. Give an idea. And then slowly I'm going to work my way back and extend that leg and lean slightly over into that side of the hip here. Gently work my way in the hip. We're almost there. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Drink lots of water, not just because it's hot outside, but because we are flushing out a ton of toxins out of your fascia, out of your muscle. All right, we're holding it all in that area. And so just like a massage, they always hand you water afterwards, right? Say, so drink a lot of water. If you've never had a massage, that's what they do. Drink a lot of water, okay? Awesome, we're almost there. Ah, good job. Remember, we don't want to roll back and forth. So let's go back into that figure four stretch. Notice that second time we do this, maybe you're feeling that flexibility, right? A little bit deeper. That muscle has fascia, like a sheet over it, and it's so tight that the muscle isn't allowed to stretch, right? Because whatever that sheet is on the outside is so tight. So what we're trying to do with a ball or with our roller is we're trying to stretch that sheet out so the muscle can stretch to it. Hope that makes sense to you. Um, and if it doesn't or you don't care, that's fine too. Um, as long as you feel amazing and it's working for you, that's good. I just want to give you education too. So let's go right here. We are going to roll onto our backs. We're done with our roller today. So let's go ahead and just roll on your back. Hug your knees into the chest. Oh, you can feel that back feels amazing. Feel free to rock back and forth. Take your arms out to the side and let's take our knees over to one side. We lengthen through the hips, we lengthen through the spine and now we are just benefiting from it all. Slowly hug the knees into the chest, however you need to. Rock back and forth. Let's go over to the other side. Open that chest. Look over your shoulder if you'd like. Feel that stretch go along that body. Oh, this feels so good. Let's move back into the chest. Hug back and forth. Back, let's drop. Those feet down, open up into a butterfly. So kind of counterbalancing, just sort of opening through the hips as we stretch those glutes. Breath, exhale. Again, drink lots of water today. Roll it over to one side. We're just going to push ourselves into a sitting position, whatever feels comfortable to you. Little assessment here. Everything feels great. Going to take a really big deep breath wherever your hands choose to be. Just inhale. Take one more cleansing breath. Inhale. Get all that fresh, fresh oxygen into those muscles. Inhale. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions regarding a roller, any type of myofascial release, um, anything other, the classes, um, just let me know. You can message me or place it right here. Uh, the badass in me honors the badass in you. Have a great day. Namaste.